Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, hi, my name is Lavinia, and I post beauty videos regarding makeup and skincare three times a week, every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday at 8 a.m. Mountain Center time. So if that is something you're interested in, I would love for you to join my channel by hitting the big red subscribe button. So today, we are going to be testing out a very raved about item in the social media world, but also very sponsored at the same time. And that is um, the Il Maquillage Foundation, as well as the concealer. If you don't know what these are, it's basically like customized makeup. And with Il Maquillage, they do make concealer and foundation. And basically, you take a test online and they match you with your perfect shade. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, maybe videos like this will kind of refresh your memory. These type of ad videos where it shows girls using foundation that is way too light for them or way too cakey or just not good. Um, and then they took a test online, got matched with their Il Maquillage shade and boom, it's their perfect foundation. That's literally the exact same color as their skin. And um, the formula is amazing just from this online test. So I have always been intrigued by these videos because I'm like, is this real? I've even had some people DM me these videos and be like, have you tried this? Like, is this for real? And I was like, you know what? Let's try this out and do an unsponsored review. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing today. I have the concealer here. This is the F Star CK spell it out for you there so I don't get demonetized. I'm Flawless Multi-Use Perfecting Concealer. And then we also have the, you know, very, very popular, very sponsored foundation, the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This foundation, which I'm really excited about. And then to go with that, we have the 100 Foundation Blending Brush, which we're gonna use to apply um, in this video. But I do wanna say these products were sent to me, but they were sent to me as PR, not uh, for a sponsored video. So this video right here has no relation with Il Maquillage. I'm just simply testing out these products and I thought if I already have them and I was gonna test them out anyways, why not do a video where we really put this stuff to the test, do a whole wear test, see what this is all about and really see, did I get matched with my perfect foundation and concealer shade from this online test without it being a sponsored video? If you wanna see me testing out these products from Il Maquillage that are typically very, very highly sponsored um, in an unsponsored review video, just keep on watching. Oh, you tell me stories You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters so first off, we have the Il Maquillage Woke Up Like This Foundation. Let's open this up. This packaging is kind of cool, I will say that. And basically, I just had to take this online test that asked me about my skin tone. And first of all, it started off like very general, like, um, you know, fair to deep skin tone and kind of pick your category. If there was a Casper Ghost option, I would have picked that for myself. But um, you, I just went to the fair category and then it showed me a bunch of pictures of different people saying, okay, pick the one that's closest to your skin tone. Then we went into undertone, then we went to, into all of that. So I think that was really helpful um, within this process. We did go through like a lot of those pictures to really find that. And this is what it looks like right here. So this packaging just lifts up like that, super cute. And take out the foundation. So fancy here we go what do we think like right off the bat first of all i do really like their packaging that's one thing that from seeing all these videos online i've always looked at and been like that's some cute packaging just super minimalistic just the name il maquillage we have a glass bottle feels very great quality and then a pump and even the cap feels very nice so then let's open up the brush here this is the il maquillage 100 foundation blending brush it just looks like a typical foundation brush but not that dense actually so i'm wondering if it'll apply my foundation a little bit more lightweight um but it does feel pretty good this is what it looks like so i'm going to pump some out on the back of my hand There we go. There's the shade. And basically, this is supposed to smoothen and even the skin, minimize the appearance of shadows and pores, and enhance the complexion and create a flawless natural matte finish. So that's kind of what we're looking for today, that natural matte finish. It's supposed to be a cutting edge formula that offers a unique combination of medium to high coverage 
and a soft, comfortable, weightless feel. So that's kind of interesting. It's kind of supposed to give you that medium to high coverage, but still feel very lightweight on the skin. It's an ultra fluid and it's easy to blend. Texture applies effortlessly and enables a buildable coverage to suit all needs. So you can apparently kind of build it up if you're wanting a bit of that more full coverage. And it says it's a long lasting wear and you can pair it with a primer or setting spray to make it last even longer. And then you can use it with a brush or a sponge. Maybe we'll use the brush on one side and then I'll use my regular sponge on the other. So let's pick just some of this up. I'm like nervous. Why am I nervous? I'm gonna do this side with the brush, so let's go ahead. Huh. What do we think? Definitely not as matchy matchy as maybe some of those other people in the tests I've seen do. Let's try to blend it out. It's looking a little yellow on me. Okay. A little bit warm for my skin but again like you're taking this from pictures and it's kind of I find it hard to evaluate your own skin tone in pictures at least in my opinion oh yeah uh this is a little too dark for me and too yellow and I feel like if I would have taken the test again I would have gotten a completely different shade and maybe some user error in that but definitely a little bit orange on this side um i'm gonna pump out some more and let's use the sponge on the other okay i definitely feel like the sponge is giving it a bit more of that dewy look to the skin but definitely still a little bit orange on me i feel like compared to my neck <laughs> it's not looking like my skin tone. I feel like in the summer, this might work for me. It still might be a little bit yellow, but like at least it wouldn't be as dark. But that does not look great, I will admit. Okay, let's try building up a second layer, see if we can get a bit more coverage out of this and see how it layers on the skin. It's not looking too hot. don't think I love how the foundation is applying it like it just seems really like kind of cakey and patchy see how it's like clinging to my dry patches on my chin there and it could just be my dry skin but I feel like most foundations don't do that on me hmm even with it on my hand here like we can see there's not a match and again that might be user error and me not completing the quiz correctly or not guessing my own skin tone correctly um i guess i forgot to say i got the shade 140 that's the shade i got matched with but i definitely think a shade maybe lighter and more neutral would have been better for me so now let's move on to the concealer maybe the concealer can kind of help us out with this situation and this is the il maquillage f star ck i'm flawless multi-use perfecting concealer and i got mine the shade 2.5 so this is what it looks like right here honestly really cool packaging i like that and i like how you can see the shade just through this little slit here but it's still like that silver packaging looks very nice um uh, feels very great and definitely feels like high end so let's open it up yeah this packaging is awesome okay so we have a dofa applicator there you can see and it does seem to have that like stopper so you get like not as much out you can definitely remove that if you don't want that so here it is it's like a smaller doe foot which looks more like a lip gloss but let's see <laughs> oh my goodness i definitely think i okay i'm just gonna apply this do we see the difference between this and my skin I'm applying more than I usually would. I'm not like a big concealer person. I usually just apply like that. But I'm applying a bit more in hopes that it can kind of even out this foundation. Oh my goodness. Seems kind of like a lightweight concealer. I'm just going to apply it like kind of everywhere so that I can 
even out this foundation. Let's try the brush on this side. Start under my eyes in like a patting motion. Okay, you know what? That shade might actually be perfect for the concealer. Well, that definitely brightened up the foundation. It's looking a little better than before. Blend out the rest. My skin's been pretty dry and textured lately, so it may just be my skin too that the foundation's clinging onto, but I just feel like it shouldn't be like clinging this bad. And it should actually still blend out and not like sit on the skin. Like, do we see this right here? I do like the shade of this concealer though. I'll say that it's like a little more brightening i will say though i feel like it kind of removed some of the foundation on there i'm gonna apply a little bit more and also i forgot to use the sponge so let's try it with the sponge now okay, honestly this concealer i am liking it is looking a little textured on the skin but i feel like that's also because we had that foundation underneath what do we think Okay, so do you guys see my nose here? How it's like kind of clinging onto my dry patches and then like around my mouth here. And then I feel like even between my eyebrows on my forehead, it's not looking the greatest. And is it just me or has it like oxidized on my hand too a little bit? Like it's a much more deeper shade now. So I'm afraid it's gonna oxidize on my face too. I think with the concealer, it's looking a little bit more even in color, but if I look really up close, like you can see how it's just not like blended out flawlessly. I'm gonna go do the rest of my makeup. I'm gonna see how I can kind of adjust this and I'll be right back. All right guys, so I am back. I've done the rest of my makeup. Um, on my lips, if you're just wondering, I use these like Q-tip lip stains that are super popular right now i did that whole thing on my tiktok if you do not follow me on my tiktok you can go follow me at lavinia rosanda i post tons of content on there so uh, if you want to see more daily content from me go check that out i do a lot of tests on there we talk about acne positivity skincare reviews makeup reviews everything beauty so go check it out um looking at my skin right now it doesn't look as bad i would say because i applied powder and that kind of you know smoothed out the texture a little bit but it's still looking pretty cakey like around my mouth anywhere i have more of those dry patches like around my nose on my nose between my eyebrows and i did have to take bronzer and kind of put it down my neck to try to even out that color difference a little bit but um yeah i'm not loving this so far my under eyes look a little bit dry but not too creased so the concealer's looking okay um the foundation not loving on my dry skin the shades are obviously very off um but as i mentioned that could be my error from taking the test too so i'm gonna try to not keep my opinion so much on that but a big part of these products from il maquillage are that customizability so the fact that they don't really match is a kind of a bummer all right so i'm going to go wear this makeup you know um wear it around the house because i'm just working today but um i'm going to see how this makeup wears throughout the day and i will update you guys later all right everyone so i am back i've been wearing this makeup for about eight hours now and i definitely need to take it off i have to say it's not looking too great i feel like it's definitely oxidized throughout the day like looking at my neck and then looking at my face i definitely feel like i just went on a tropical vacation and got a nice tan first of all second of all you can see how it's kind of clinging onto certain dry patches like do you see that i'll zoom you guys in more do you see that um and second thing, we're looking quite shiny, quite a bit oily, so I haven't blotted or powdered throughout the day, um, so that might be it too, but I definitely, you know, it's breaking up a lot, like, around my nose. We do have some dryness there. So the foundation, color-wise, was a big no for me, and I definitely feel like from the original shade of it to what 
it's looking like right now it definitely oxidized quite a bit on my skin which i'm not a big fan of i did really enjoy the coverage i thought you know it definitely was buildable and i think on these sections of my skin where i'm not as dry it actually looked really nice but I think just because of my dry, more textured skin, maybe it's just not for me and it's gonna cling a bit more. So um, maybe for someone with more smooth skin, this will work better. But for my skin type, it just didn't work out for me, unfortunately. Maybe I'll have to try it again and exfoliate the night before or maybe just try a different shade that maybe doesn't oxidize like this on me. Now the concealer, I actually did enjoy this. I think my under eyes are looking good. I actually did not apply a lot of powder to my under eyes and I feel like um, they're not creased really at all. I would definitely use this again and try it out again. I think this shade was nice on my skin. But this was definitely an interesting review video. I'm excited to see what you guys think down below in the comments. Have you ever tried this brand? Have you taken their online quiz? Do you have any other products? This was a first for me. I've never had a foundation shade customized and I don't think it went as planned. Maybe I'll try it again in the future if you guys wanna see that, but let me know. If you did enjoy this video though, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and also make sure to turn on my post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a new video. And if you want to see more of my content, make sure to go uh, check me out on the Acne channel. I'm a weekly host on there. We talk about all things acne and skincare. And for more daily content, you can go follow me at Lavinia Rosanda on both Instagram and TikTok. Um, so I hope to see you on those platforms as well. I hope you're having a fantastic day or night whenever you're watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys. Oh, you tell me stories. You tuck me in And the second you leave I call you right back To check for monsters